Alright, so I want to make a little video about my latest haul of booty from... I can't believe I said that. From the Phoenix Gun Show. Uh, I went... It was a... It was three days long. I could only go to two of the days. I had to work, but I went to uh, two days. Uh, the first day I got the mystery item here we'll get to. And then the uh, last day of the show, uh, me and all my friends went. And then um, these are the other items I selected from uh, the final pickings of the show. So uh, we'll start off with kind of the least exciting, and then we'll jump to the piece. Starting with... Just a G3 magazine, aluminum, really common, um, not anything to write home about. I would like to eventually someday own a G3, that's why I bought one. Uh, when I first got there, he had a whole bin of them, and that's a story for these photographs. He had a whole bin of them for, they were $3 each, and I saw them and I was like, okay, I'll come back, because no one wants G3 magazines, and I come back the last day and there's one left I'm like I should have got more go I should have got them early I'll go fuck myself so I put the last one and I enjoyed it um these three are original uh wartime second world war photographs uh a different person had again an entire bin of them five dollars and I really should have bought more of them but I didn't I got three of them that I really liked and um, here they here they are. Two of them are Luftwaffe, or are of Luftwaffe personnel. And I think they're just, I think these are incredible. Um, I want to say they're flak, but with a black and white photograph like this, there's really exactly no way to tell. But um, they do, they are going to go with the uh, flak infantry impression that I'm working on right now. That a video will come out soon. I'll make a video. Uh, I believe these are different people, but just wearing helmets this time. And then this one is not of Luftwaffe personnel, but it looks like um, here, I'm guessing, here's uh, personnel in there. I'm probably butchering this or just getting the entire term wrong. Uh, Dienstanzug. I believe that's their kind of like going out uniform. It looks like somewhere in Russia. There is writing on the back, but my Sutulin is nowhere near proficient enough to attempt to read that, so. That's something I have to work on, but getting all that out of the way, let's move down here. Let's skip the fucking shit and get to the real meat. What do we have here? A Walther P38. Oh yeah, bitch. <laughs> um, I've wanted a P38 for a while now, and uh, I saw one at a gun show, or not a gun show, a gun store, close, kind of close-ish to where I live, not really. Um, and I decided, you know, I'm not going to buy that one. I'm going to do research before I purchase one. And I waited. I heard about the gun show. I was like, okay, I got extra cash. I'm smart now. I know what I'm looking for. So I picked this bad boy out of the crowd. I'll go into specifics later, but all matching 43 dated Schriewerk. It is clear. I had the magazine loaded because I've been excited about this thing for a while now that... Um, it's been my carry gun for the last few days. There we go, hold it like, like that. Uh, it's been my carry gun, so... It holds eight rounds. I just have seven in there right now because that's what the magazine's happy with. It's 80 years old, and I don't want to stress it out. Um, but yeah, uh, all matching. Uh, import mark in a friggin' good spot. They didn't put it on the side of the slide. They put it on the heel there. Uh, has all the Waffenamps. The finish is still really good, really beautiful. And, um, yeah, just a dope gun. And these are all my, uh, things. And, you know, to end the video, I'm thinking I might just put a picture of myself and a very, very cool person who I met at the show who was, um, not only nice enough, very nice person, very nice guy in person, but, um, he was also kind enough to let me get a photograph with him. And I think if I didn't get anything here and I just left that show with just that picture that... That was cool enough, but um, I hope you find this enjoyable, and uh, yes.